Welcome back to Band Aid with Doc Rock. I am Doc Rock. We are now officially in the recovery room. Alright, alright, alright. I have no introduction for this band because this band does not need any introduction. Everybody knows them. Please welcome Jane Doe to the recovery room. How are you tonight? Very good. Good, good. Good, good. good to see you all. My gosh, what a great star set of night for this show. I'm so honored to have you here, honestly. This is awesome. All right, now we just we just caught some great Jane Doe uh, material while we we're on that break. What what songs did we hear? Uh, the first song you heard uh, is called Colonel Pratt. Uh huh. He wears a 50 gallon hat. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> yeah, okay. And then the second song you heard is called High Flying. High Flying. Oh, yes, that's, that's great. Well, indeed, that's, that's, that's Shane Doe. So, I'm not gonna, for those who don't know the members of this band, we're going to introduce yourself. Sir, you are. I am Mike Pella. Okay, and you play? I'm the bass player. Bass player, all right. I mean, I, you know, you're not the bass players, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bass players <laughs> hang together. Absolutely. We, well, in my, in, my, in my age, we always say we do it in our G-strings. So Woo! Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ernie Richmond. Uh -huh. Pinky Nolan. Pinky Nolan. Pinky right. Nolan. <laughs> so we got his real name out of him. I suppose I am. Okay, well you are now, so that's all good. And sir, you are. I'm Brendan Gilberti, uh -huh. and I play the guitar. Brendan Gilberti on guitar, and and your name? I'm Songbird, and I'm just a troublemaker. <laughs> uh, I was warned about you. We've got attorneys in the lobby, so I, oh my god. I rouse rabble. <laughs> Security standing by. <laughs> we probably need them. I think that's great. Well, you know, you, they're, they're, you, you hear this all the time, of course, and, and your band is so legendary. How did you pick the name of the band? I know, I know. Everybody asks you that, but how'd you come up with the name Jane Doe? Um, well, we were uh, nameless and uh -huh. we're going through the usual assortment of. What the hell? Can I, can I say that? Sure, I'll say it for you. What the hell are we going to call you? <laughs> There's no FCC. Go away. Okay. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, we wanted to, we were trying to figure out names and we were coming out with some serious clunkers. Uh -huh. And um, the ones that weren't clunkers, of course, were already taken and we were like, ah! So, uh, we. But serious clunker isn't a bad name. Serious clunker? <laughs> The jalopies. I mean, the first on the endings. <laughs> so, um, I I had written a song. I think um, either earlier that year or the year before. Okay. Called uh, Freeway Rider. Okay. And uh, it is actually an answer song uh, to Treetop Flyer by Stephen Stills. Uh -huh. um, I had become completely obsessed with that song, so I was like listening to it. I think I had only it burned onto a disc, and I was listening to it over and over and over again. So I uh, wrote this song. I, I thought it'd be interesting to write a song that was like an answer song from a female's perspective, like a female road smuggler's perspective. Uh, so okay. I wrote the song Freeway Rider, and one of the lines in it is, my name is Jane Doe, and I'm the real deal. I'm a highway smuggler, and I've got nerves of steel. Uh -huh. And uh, we were having practice, and we I just taught the boys that song, and we were hashing out, what are we going to call the band? And Brendan was like, well, how about Jane Doe? And I was like, that's pretty awesome, but do you want to be named? What? A girl well, name for your school. band? Yeah, no, no, I went, I went, on, I went online, of course, I, you know, I, I love going online and researching you. And janedoe.net is your website. Well, I went yeah, to janedoe.com. Oh! Big mistake. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, don't do that. And it wasn't porn, it was a cheesy cookie lady selling oh, cookies. Oh, the cookie lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the cookie you know. lady has the dog. That's Jane, a cover. Right. That's a cover. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't look real. It doesn't. It's don't a bad Jane Doe.com. Well, you know, when we first bought .NET, they were trying to do .NET as the entertainment right, sure, extension. So, you know, they were pushing all the bands yeah. and all the venues and blah, blah, blah to mm -hmm. do .NET, which is, you know, the Grateful Dead also have GratefulDead.net for the same reason, um, or Dead.net. But um, 
we bought .NET and within like 20 minutes, JaneDoe.com had gone up <laughs> to like $1,800 oh, a yeah. year. And I was like, are you crazy? So like we didn't do it, of course. And this year when we renewed it, I believe JaneDoe.com was up to like almost $2,000 wow. okay. a year. And this crazy lady bought it. So I was like, more power to you, lady, just as long as you don't get above us in the search engine. <laughs> <laughs> lady has a good thing and she knows it. Uh, she sure does. But uh, yeah. net is us. <laughs> She's the cookie lady. You are the icing, as far as I'm concerned. So there's a big difference in that. And I guess we should also say that it's D-O-U-G-H, right, not right. D-O-E. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification on that. By the way, speaking of names, Pinky Nolan. <laughs> what the heck's with this Pinky Nolan? <laughs> <laughs> Where did this come from? Uh-oh, she did it. <laughs> she was one of two people. One of two. Who was uh, the other one? Jenna Vaughn. Uh-oh. Okay, so you're... Hi, so you got, so you got the pinky, pinky nail and go with the drums, all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Now, of course, you got to give us the quick, the quick songbird story. Obviously, we there is no quick songbird. Story. <laughs> no, yeah, just, you yeah, got yeah. a minute. Got a couple hours. <laughs> How long is this show? Well, let's just put it this way: she changed her name to Songbird. Okay, on to the next question. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody loves Songbird. You know, everybody just thinks uh, it's a they, and there really are Songbirds out I there. I love everybody. You know, everybody knows that stuff, and that you like wearing hats. You're always wearing hats. I what, do. I wear why? hats a lot. I don't know. What do hats? What do hats do for for people? I'm just curious. In your opinion. I think it, I think that I, I wear this hat the most because um, it makes me look tough, like an mm. outlaw. I don't I look yeah. like a tough outlaw? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. I just like them. That's what hats can do for for me. You know, I'm a big fan oh, growing you, up. Oh yeah. Oh, so you I'm a big fan of, of Ricky Schroeder. <laughs> <laughs> I was warned about this, but it's going to be a long day. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I love that. You own that. That's an okay. epic. <laughs> This is a pinky nolan. Oh, boy. Well, I know you got lots of fans, too, of course. So, I got one of our fans. This interview's out of control already. All right. But I was warned about Jane Doe. It's okay. Now, listen. Now, listen. On a serious note, your simplified, your simplified genre Definition of your music is just rock and roll. Yes, we play rock okay. and roll. Okay, you know, but you also proclaim that you are vintage psychedelic cowboy rock. Yes, now, and roll. You have and to roll. put the okay. and roll. Okay, the cowboy. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, sure. When you put all this together, you know, does genre even matter to you anymore? You know what? You try to pigeonhole bands into genres. Are we doing this the wrong? This is what thing? I think yeah. about genre and compartmentalization okay. and all that, which is why we say we're rock and roll. Okay, no, I think Sorry, that, that's, that's oh, yeah. Mike, you've been around with us a long time. How do you feel about it? Man? I've been around uh, so long that I'm considered vintage. <laughs> okay, so you're the vintage, you're the psychedelic. Exactly. Uh, he, was, he was on the first day of MTV. First day of MTV? Yes. I was watching it in Detroit. I remember that day. Really? I was indeed, Doc. Tell the story. Really? It's a great story. A uh, band I was with at the time out of Pittsburgh, okay. Pennsylvania. Uh-huh. Uh, this is early 80s. The Silencers. The Silencers. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had a music video done with three of our songs, and it aired on MTV first sure. day broadcast. Really? Right between REO Speedwagon uh -huh. and Juice Newton. Oh, my <laughs> good placement. Well, I was say, well, any placement's good placement when it started. Yeah. You know, that so, be, my Mike, Mike Pella is our our, our serious claim uh, to fame. Uh, is, to almost fame. Oh, come on. Absolutely. <laughs> great. Well, you know, you've been around a long time. The band, the, Jane Doe, has been around since 2005. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so impressive that, you know, you won the ASCAP Songwriting Award in 2007. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you. Well, you know, thank I'm you. an ASCAP member, and that is a, I could never have done it. And I was an artist back then, but the congratulations to you, because that's quite an achievement. I have no idea why they even gave it to me. <laughs> I got some, they gave me money, though. I mean, I was like, wow, I didn't want to give us a check. But in, in additional media, i got to say congratulations on the impressive 
two-page feature story in North Coast Voice. Oh, thank you. Whoa, you thank know, you Helen Marchetti. Helen Marchetti did an incredible job as the writer. Thank you, there. Helen, if you're watching, we love thank you. Two-page <laughs> feature article in the North Coast Voice. Get back, Ricky. And they, <laughs> <laughs> you know, about, about Jane Doe. If you haven't gotten it, it's this month, right? I believe it's, is it this month? It, so, it, it's, it's a two-week, um, it's released every two weeks. Uh, and it was la the last issue. Okay. So there's a new issue out now. But if you go to northcoastvoice.com, you can find it in the archives. Or you can go to helenrosemarchetti.com, which is H E L E N R O S E M A R K E T T I. Da! <laughs>